Okay, year three and four. So next we're going to be doing an assessment on creating your very own healthy lunchbox. First, I'm going to do an explanation of how to get to this assessment worksheet and then I will go through the actual criteria for the assessment. So you'll click on the link in the website which will take you to this document. You want to open with Google Docs. And this is very important that you do this because this is our original copy of the worksheet here. So you don't want to be including your foods and images and words on this original document. You need to click file and make a copy. Okay. And here you're going to have open your very own copy of your healthy lunchbox. And this is the one that you can include your images and words and drawings onto. And this is the one that you're going to submit in the website. Now, now I'll go into our criteria of what we have to do for the assessment. You can include images and drawings and words into all three of these compartments of your lunchbox. That's completely up to you. You can be as creative as you like. But the first thing you need to remember to do is include at least one food or meal from each of the five food groups. So make sure if you need to go back to lesson one where we talked about the five food groups, there's examples there. If you've forgotten about what's included in each of those groups, so go back on the website to lesson one if you need to. The next thing is you need to include all foods that are in the green part of the traffic light system. So your foods must be in the green part of the traffic light system. That was also in lesson one. So go back if you need a refresher. Our next criteria is you need to include at least one food or meal that has originated from another country, so a country other than Australia. Here's where you're going to have to do a bit of research. So you can type into Google, my example was a fruit that originated from Indonesia and I found a durian. So I could include a picture and a word or one or the other of a durian, a type of fruit from Indonesia and I'll include that in my lunchbox worksheet. So there's that box ticked. Next we're going to talk about the nude food initiative. This is a really interesting one and I've got an image above this video in the website that is an example of a lunchbox that includes unwrapped and unpackaged Foods. So that's what the nude food initiative is. It's not it's all about not including extra wrapping and packaging, especially plastic things in our lunchbox, things that are unnecessary. So by doing this, the nude food initiative aims to reduce the amount of rubbish that pollutes our planet, which can is becoming and has been a very big issue. There's many, many consequences of rubbish polluting our planet. So an example of this is you don't need to put your strawberries in a plastic Ziploc bag and then into your lunchbox. You could just put your strawberries straight into your lunchbox and you can just wipe your lunchbox out at the end of the day to keep it nice and clean. You don't need to put the strawberries in a Ziploc bag. So that's just an example.